Hey guys, this is a you versus them reading. I know I haven't done it in a minute, but here I am. <clears throat> I'm going to use two different decks for you guys, of course. You know how it goes. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please check out the website at pinkarianjim.com. Let's see. How do Taurus feel about their connection with this other person? How do Taurus feel about the connection between them and this other person? How do they feel about it? Nine of Pentacles. You always felt like you were single, even when you were with this person. Felt like you were by yourself, doing your own thing, separate from them. Virgo energy here. Hmm. That's not good. How did this other person feel about the connection with Taurus? I feel like you guys were always searching for something that you felt like better suited you, was better for you. Huh. This person had a good time with you. They felt like you were the one. Water energy here, Pisces, Cancer. They felt like you guys were the one. They always had an extremely good time with you whenever you guys were together. Maybe you guys spent a lot of time together, but you know, you were on two different pages during the relationship. That maybe they wanted more than you did. Hmm. What's currently going on for Taurus? going on for Taurus. Five of Pentacles. I feel like there's some regrets that you guys have about leaving. And I feel like you're having second thoughts about this person. Either they left or you guys left. But whatever the situation is, I feel like you guys kind of are taking some responsibility for the turnout. This is your card here, the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. What's currently happening for the other person? You guys may have gotten into a relationship here too, but I still feel like this person is on your mind. Maybe you're no longer single. <clears throat> What's currently going on for the other person? Page of Cups. Reminiscing. I feel like this person still thinks about um, how they feel about you. How they felt about you even. And it's not felt. It's not past tense. This person still has a lot of feelings for you. And I, and I feel like, you know, the only reason why they're coming as a page is because you guys are not together. So it would be kind of crazy for them to be just like falling head over heels and, you know, exuding all of these emotions and you haven't been together in a freaking year. I mean, you know, but this person still, still has very deep feelings for you. And um, I don't feel like this person is involved with anyone because they still kind of reflect on, you know, the good times that they shared with you and how they felt like you guys were their person. Okay. What's influencing Taurus's situation? What's influencing Taurus's situation? Ten of Wands. You guys have a lot weighing on you right now. I do feel like you're carrying this burden of what happened between you and this person, Sagittarius energy, and you're really tired of carrying it. Um, I don't know what you could do to change that only you guys know, but I do feel like this heavy um, weight on you. Hmm. What's influencing this other person, their situation? What's influencing them? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This person wants, look, they're surrounded by the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. This person 
felt like you guys were the one in every way, emotionally, physically. They felt like you guys were the ish. And they're still seeking that. They're still looking for that. This is Virgo energy there. They felt like you guys were their home. They felt like you belonged together. This person felt like you guys were going to always be together. They literally felt like that. That no matter what, you guys were going to be together through thick and thin. What's coming in for Taurus? What's coming in for Taurus? The Fool, Aries energy. Doing something that you haven't done before. Taking a leap of faith, starting over. I don't know whether some of you guys are actually like contacting this person or whether you're just like deciding to just be carefree, something that you really um, don't do a whole lot and just kind of throwing caution to the wind. And I mean, to make yourselves feel better. But I'm feeling like some of you are actually wanting to reach out to this person and start over. Because I think that's the weight that you're bearing for some of you is that you want to do things differently. Hmm. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune and Knight of Cups. Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune and Knight of Cups. Piscean energy. I feel like there is some sort of proposal, whether it's to date, whether it's to start over. There's a change here with the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. The ties are changing. And I don't know if this is you guys coming in for them. Um, Piscean, Cancerian. Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. The ties are changing for them. I don't know if this is somebody else coming in for them or if you guys coming in for them. Could be both. So I, I feel like there's really like not any time to waste if you guys know what you want. Um, because I feel like there's an offer coming in for them. Their luck is about to change here. For the better okay with all of these cards here these are very good cards the ten of cups the ten of pentacles and then you have the will of fortune so their love life is is about to change okay one way or the other what is the outcome here for taurus what is the outcome for taurus strength look at that this is you guys doing something that is hard for you to do. Okay? Doing something that is hard for you to do. I don't know if this is an apology. I don't know if this is um, you guys just reaching out to this person and just having a conversation with them. This is Leo energy here. But this is all about having the strength to do something that's been hard for you to do before. Okay, guys? What is the outcome for the other person? What is the outcome for the other person? Two of Cups. Love. Relationship. Falling in love. Dating. But having these emotions that you share with someone. It's not one-sided. It's not one-sided, guys. So, that's all I can say to you. <laughs> Is this you or is this someone else for them that's coming in? Cancer energy. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.